Hi guys, welcome to another of my videos. Okay, so here I'm copying and pasting the image and just resizing it. And I apologize, my computer been giving me a lot of troubles. That's why I haven't been posting videos. Okay, so um, I'm just kind of messing right here with the blank. Um, you can go ahead and choose whatever blank you feel like is fitting the project. And like I say, my computer was a little bit slow, so I really apologize. All right, so the highlight seems a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and pick a brush um guys I know this is a little bit advanced um brushes are really easy to actually install and use um you can find free brushes and or you can go ahead and buy some you know but i actually have a lot of them for free if anybody want a tutorial about brushes please comment below okay and this is you guys see i just literally start um doing the shape of the brush just on top of the background Okay, so we're clicking on the image and just create a clipping mask. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just resize that image so it will fit um, on the shape of the brush. Okay, in the image I'm using, they are the link I'll post it below. Alright, so I'm just copying and pasting another image. Just to give it a little bit of a feel. Okay, and I know it's looking a little pixelated, um, but that's because it's only 72 dpi because my computer was running pretty slow today. I will usually run 300 dpi. Okay, so this one I went to place embedded because this is a PNG image. Okay, so I just I, I could just copy and paste it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm having a little trouble because I didn't lock my layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock all my layers now that way they will move when I'm trying to move this image. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this really big. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to use this the best. Um, so, yeah, and we're just going to do that. So, if you run into this, what I will do is just go ahead and kind of merge those two layers together. And now go ahead and drag um, the burst out. Okay, and now this process take a little bit um, just because I just don't like it how much bursts are they. So we're just going to take the eraser and just put over the way. Just look at the settings that I'm doing right now. And just erase as many of the bursts that you want to erase. 
because I think they're just too many and it's making the picture very crowded so that's why I'm just going and taking some out Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this off light. And that way they it give that uh, kind of far away feeling. And I wanna adjust this a little bit too. Okay, so I kinda like that better. And I'm just going and erase more birds. Um just because I changed the blend so now you can see more. So Alright, well thank you so much for watching my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel, um, I will be trying to post more videos more often, I finally got my computer working a little better, um, thank you for understanding and thank you for the comments um, about me being able to just use my voice, again I don't think this is for beginnings to be honest, um, it does take a little bit to learn Photoshop, but I add I did my best to at least do it step by step. Alright, but thank you so much.